Hi, good morning. It's 8 a.m. on day two. Um, I'm in the room by myself. Matthew got up a little earlier and went to go work out. Um, I'm sitting here on the couch by our towel animal that uh, we got last night. I've got um, bed hair going on right now. I am about to go up to Marceline Market and grab just a very, very small bite um, to hold me over until breakfast. And we've got breakfast in like two and a half hours or brunch, I should say at Palo. So we're just <clears throat> taking it easy this morning. Um, I thought that we were going to be in Nassau a little bit earlier, but it looks like we don't dock until or it's not all aboard until like 930. So we're still uh, cruising along right now. But um, yeah, it's been a nice morning. I slept lovely last night, which was fantastic because I did not sleep well the night, couple nights before. Just, I guess, excitement and just, you know, just being excited for a trip. I just didn't sleep well. Um, yeah, so today should be a good day. Let's go uh, see what we can get into. All right, I am sitting out here on the balcony. We are, it looks like getting ready to pull into port at Nassau because I see our pilot boat actually pulling up next to us here. So that's pretty cool. Um, can kind of watch us pull in and dock. So I went up to Marceline Market to the buffet. Um, there were people absolutely everywhere. So I did not want to, <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't want to pull my camera out and start because I couldn't really see any of the food on the line. Everybody was kind of, everybody was everywhere. Basically just everybody was everywhere. Um, but I went and just grabbed some smoked salmon. I have a obsession with smoked salmon, especially on um, vacation. I have to, that's like my breakfast every single morning. Um, so I got a little bit of that and a little bit of coffee just to sit here and enjoy and hang out for the next couple hours until it's time for brunch. I saw out there in the distance. Oh, I can even see the uh, bridge up there. You can see the captain. And then I can't see the pilot anymore. We're kind of on the jet out and he's up under. Um, well, let's see. There we go. You can see him now. There's our pilot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we are using uh, 
cheese. Do you know Fred, yeah? And some salami. And the cheese. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I didn't make it. He didn't make it. On the wall, you can see here many, many colors of paint. Oh, yeah. This is like a gear of the clock. Part of the clock. Handle of the fridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, so cool. Like, maybe we have some special Ferrari brut. Uh -huh. You see this Navy Shadow, for our ship is special. Okay, so only on this, oh, no, only no, on no, the no, wish. No, no, yeah. Okay. Before we have many bottles to them, but most of the guests they buy for the home, you know, they don't make the bed. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. view from the Rose Lounge looking out at port here. So we are sitting in the Rose Lounge outside of Enchante and Paolo. Um, we just finished our brunch in Paolo which was fantastic. So so good. Um, it was really a redemption experience for me because last time was just well I guess for us both because the first time we went um, was on the magic and it was like a day where they were doing crew drills and everything, so half the staff was gone, and it just wasn't like the full experience. It was just kind of interrupted by the drill. Lots of alarms going off and like announcements and a bunch of staff and kitchen staff were missing at that time. So this time was amazing, absolutely amazing. I loved my meal. Um, we kind of shared a bunch of appetizers. We had, uh, you had the um, antipasti, the meat antipasti. And then we got, uh, they made an allergy friendly pizza and we got the spicy Italian. That was really, really good. You can tell like all of the, all of the tomato sauce on everything, like anything that had tomato sauce on it was like, perfect Italian tomato sauce, like the gravy, the gravy, <laughs> tomato gravy. It's like that San Marzano, like the legit Italian, Italian stuff. Um, I had the chicken, it was chicken Parmesan, I guess. For me, it wasn't breaded, um, but it was the highlight of the meal. It was amazing. <laughs> it was on a risotto. The risotto was cooked perfectly. It was so, so good. And, uh, yeah, dessert. I had the panna cotta, which has little strawberry popping pearls on top, and it was just light and delicious. We left full, but not stuffed, so that was good. <laughs> not miserable, <laughs> which happens. <laughs> Did you tell them about the pizza? Yes, the pizza we shared, and it actually was like a smaller than, than um, like the standard size since it was an allergy pizza, so. Mm -hmm. That and, worked out. Yeah, and me being or not being an allergy person and can eat normal food, <laughs> I still love that pizza. And it was probably for the better that the way that it was made, the crust was thinner and it was a little bit smaller, so you didn't feel as. Sorry for the shaky camera. <laughs> The boat's wrong. Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> but the sausage was had a nice spice to it, but not too spicy. Yeah, it did have a good cake. I really enjoyed that pizza. I did. Um, and my entree that I ordered was the lasagna. Very good. Um, and we got these things at the recommendation of our server because these were yes. the things that he was like. He said the lasagna was better than his mama's lasagna, who's, who's Italian, so. Yes, um, and, but uh, I couldn't, it has, it had three kind of meats, lamb being one of the meats that was in the lasagna, so. Oh, yeah. It was just very good. It also had probably that, um, that tomato. Gravy. Mm -hmm. Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I would be that's the one thing is I would almost 
certainly want to order that again if I were to come here again, but there's going to be so many more awesome things to try. So I feel I like know. we're creatures of habit. Like once we find something that we love, it's like, but I can't not order it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be, I'll be thinking about the lasagna probably for days to come. Yeah. My dessert, I ordered, I can't even, it was like a chocolate tort, was it not? I don't know if it was called that. Yeah, gosh, I don't even remember the name of it. I'll insert the um, menu here, so. <laughs> the, the item will be in the, <laughs> It's It's somewhere, maybe, yeah, in the <laughs> somewhere in the menu. <laughs> um, anyway. But it's the chocolatey chocolateness dessert. <laughs> almost reminds me of like a molten cake mm -hmm. as well, but dark chocolate all the way had it had some ice cream of the sort i couldn't pick out the flavor of it it was not vanilla i don't know if it was some sort of i really feel like he it, said espresso it, either, it was like a espresso or some sort of butter it probably wasn't butterscotch but i don't know it didn't have a heavy espresso flavor, I guess. No, <laughs> That's it, what you said. It, yeah, it was very <laughs> it was. inoffensive. It was just a nice, cool, like, cold to go with the hot, mm. but very good. And then I also, I guess I could say, tasted the uh, limoncello cake, and it was lemony, pretty refreshing for a rather large slice of cake. Came with, like, some mandarin oranges and raspberry on the side with like a little dollop of some kind of heavy <laughs> whipped cream but yeah it, that was a solid dessert in itself but chocolatey goodness all the way of the first one yeah that was just a fantastic meal all around it was worth every penny uh the price now so it is adults only um Paolo, this whole area of the wish um is adults only 18 and up so um the price is fifty dollars per person and it's you eat as much as you want and you also get a complimentary glass of prosecco or a mimosa or their um like a bellini Okay. No, the Bellinis aren't complimentary, I don't believe. The um, There's like a non-alcoholic cocktail that you can get. Uh, a Cipriani, I think is what he called it. Um, so you can get one of those also. And then anything else that you order as far as drinks go, that would be like an extra charge on top of that 50. But um, worth every penny. It was very, very good. Very glad we did it. And now we're sitting here in the Rose, uh, which is right outside, like I said earlier, and we got the Sommelier Ben wines. So Matthew ended up with a red wine. Um, you can ask for red, white, or um, bubbles. And it kind of depends on what they have open at the time as to what you get. So I ended up with a Tattinger rosé which is really good and his is a Valpolicelli from uh, France, Valpolicella, something like that. <laughs> Don't even ask me to pronounce anything because I'll never get it right. That's very good. It's dry but light, light and dry. And um, the rosé is fantastic but it's a great value because the sommelier bin is $13 now it used to be 11 but now it's 13 inflation <laughs> everything everything's gone up the meal in Palo used to be 45 and now it's 50 so inflation <laughs> but it's still a good value because this uh, rosé by the glass is $22 I think and Matthew's is 16 and we're paying 13 for each so good value there and you know sometimes you can even get you can win the lotto and yeah. get you a glass get something real real fancy yeah um so anyways we kind of don't have a huge game plan for today we're gonna sit here and hang out for a little bit our friends went uh to roam around in Nassau for a little bit so we're just hanging out ourselves for a while um oh there's a pirate ship coming in right there we saw it we saw a little pirate ship um 
floating around in the bay out here. It's coming into dock. But anyways, we're going to hang out here and then we'll see what else we get into. We talked about maybe going to see Inside Out 2 because it's playing in the theater. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tonight's pirate night, though. So looking forward to that. None of us have costumes per se, but they usually leave a bandana in your room. So I'll we'll, just wear the laundry on my head. Yeah, we'll just wear the bandanas. I'm wearing a black dress. He's got a black shirt on, so it'll work. It'll be fine. We'll be pirates. And we have marble dinner tonight, so yeah. So we found the Incredi Games blow up obstacle course as we were perusing around. This looks interesting, Matthew. You think you can make it through Incredicourse? Probably. <laughs> he seems unamused, guys. I think I would come out with a lot of um, bruises or like rug burn type situation. <laughs> So we went and saw a movie at the movie theater this afternoon. We went and saw Inside Out 2. Very cute. Is that what's your favorite Oh no, we're jumping to hyperspace. We're in the hyperspace lounge now. I still love anger. And, we're and now we're somewhere else. Um, every seven minutes you go somewhere new. You said you like anger. <laughs> I can't decide if I thought anxiety or ennui. <laughs> what the best. They were both pretty funny. But um, I'm glad we did that because we've been saying we wanted to see a movie on the cruise for a while. So we finally did it. So now we're in Hyperspace Lounge to enjoy a drink with our friends before sail away and dinner and pirate stuff. Uh, <laughs> So in this dream we use wood for the same a 20 years old for wine, from cherry, from berry, and cinnamon. We let it infuse like for 24 hours. That smells so good. So you go to the other. You want to touch it with your glass? Grab your glass. Oh. One more. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> one for you, me, one for you. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Matthew is pirate ready. He's got his pirate bandana and fancy. Do you feel like pirate? Arr. <laughs> I guess that means I have to go get my pirate attire corrected now too, huh? I have the joke of the day. You want to hear it? Oh boy, sure. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Arr. No, tis the sea we love. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that one. <laughs> Good job, Matthew. <laughs> okay, I joined the party. I am now a pirate too. Yay, both pirates. Arr. <laughs> We 
just did a little um, shopping and Mickey's main sale back there. And then we watched the pirate takeover of the atrium. The pirates have taken over the ship. It is now red. The I've heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, gross. Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. God, activate! Pretty sweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, back in our room from all of the evening's activities now so we had dinner at Marvel and then went up to see the pirate um, show and the fireworks and all that jazz and that was fun. Pirate parlay party. Yeah the, the rockin pirate rockin parlay. Lots of words. Lots of people. PRPP. -P. <laughs> PPRP. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, my friends thought it was really cool, so that was fun. Uh, dinner tonight was... It, it was okay. I don't think it was as good as uh, last night. Last night was better for me personally anyways, but I won't speak for Matthew here. I thought dinner was an improvement since the last time I went to Marvel. 
um, mainly just because I tried a couple different things. The apps, I believe, were the same that I ordered last time. The can't go wrong with like their version of the shrimp cocktail and then a I bao did bun. I did last time the shrimp cocktail. Mm -hmm. And the bao bun was very good too. I wish it had a little more. I wish the sauce that was kind of drizzled on the side maybe was more slathered on the pulled pork that was inside that would probably made it taste better. <laughs> um, plus cilantro is evil, so I had to kind of pick that out a little bit. I really didn't know there was cilantro in it. Garnish, I think. <laughs> you would be able to pick out like half a piece of it cilantro. Was, it was greenery. <laughs> was green <laughs> but there was cilantro with this tuna steak that i ordered ah uh, yeah but this tuna steak itself was very good and then i had the i don't know the exact name of the dish but it was scallops and pasta yeah but it was scallops and pasta um scallops were very good very small but very good and kind of like a little medium sized scallop and the pasta was creamy, but not too creamy. Dessert, I had the key lime pie and it was tart, which is how I like my key lime pie. Um, it didn't have a pile of whipped cream on it. He doesn't like whipped cream on his key lime pie. Nah. And there was a little, what I thought would be a raspberry sauce on the side to run a few bites through but it ended up being like a circular little thin piece of like I'd compare it to a fruit roll up <laughs> so I took my little piece of cake and I didn't was, notice that I took my little piece of well pie not cake why is it not getting on my cake? <laughs> because it was solid that's why so picked it up and ate it like a fruit roll up it was good mm. Yeah, my um, appetizer that I ordered, so I pre-ordered last night at dinner and I was really excited for this meal. So I think that may partially be why I was a little let down. Um, Cause I ordered a butternut squash soup and it was, I'm not gonna say it was bad. Like it was probably a good soup. It's just not what I was expecting, I guess. Um, I was expecting something more savory which I don't eat butternut squash soup all the time. I think, I feel like butternut squash itself can be kind of sweet. So maybe that's why, but it was very, very sweet. Like very sweet, <laughs> the soup. You took a little taste of it. And it threw off your palate. Yeah, it just wasn't what I was expecting. So I, it wasn't my favorite thing. I ate probably half of it. And then I also got the scallop and pasta dish, which was on the allergy menu. Um, but mine came instead of with like the cream sauce, it came with a marinara, which I was confused by. Um, the scallops were cooked well, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that was good. I mean, they were, the flavor was good. They were cooked well, but I was just thrown off by the tomato sauce. Cause that's not what I was expecting. I was hoping for like, you know, the garlic butter, or whatever type of sauce. I think though that I have figured out that the issue that I'm having is they think I'm allergic to dairy in addition to gluten and egg. And a lot of people make that mistake. Um, but, and I think they did this because the first night I said, when he said he was gonna bring chef choice dessert, I was like, okay, but if there's ice cream, can it please be non-dairy? And I think they took that to mean that I don't eat dairy. And it's just that I don't eat dairy ice cream. <laughs> So now I'm getting all non-dairy dishes, which is not my preference, but um, I guess overall the dish itself was good. It's just not, again, not what I was expecting. So I was a little let down by that, um, but the flavor was, was good. Um, and then my dessert was actually a sundae. It had like caramel and um, allergy friendly cookies on it. I think they were the partake cookies. That's what they seemed like to me. Um, it was really good. 
I was full by that point, so I didn't eat a ton of it, but it was very tasty. The ice cream, the non-dairy ice cream was like, it might have been caramel flavored. It wasn't like vanilla or, I don't know. It was, it was a different flavor, but it was very good. Very good. So dessert was the highlight of that meal. Um, and then the meal actually took a very long time tonight. Like we arrived early actually and got in line like to check into the restaurant and we got out right at 10 o'clock to get upstairs for the pirate show. <laughs> so it took a very long time. Um, Spider-Man was around the dining room for a while. Like it, oh, took, yeah. it took him a while to get back to us. We were in the very end, the very back corner of the dining room. Um, but yeah, so overall, I think the highlight of the day today was Palo brunch. <laughs> it was good. And then just hanging out. We just stayed on the ship and enjoyed time, hung out on the balcony, did a little shopping, just kind of had a leisurely day. So it's now time to get a shower and go to bed again because we are tired. <laughs> so we're going to end this video here and uh, we'll pick up with our final full day tomorrow. We're headed to Castaway Key and I think we're going to get off and at least have lunch on the island. Um, so that'll be, that'll be a first for us. We have gotten off at Castaway Key, but we've not um, actually gone and dined out there. So we'll let you guys know how that is and see what else we get into tomorrow. And then it will be sadly time to debark and go back home to life. Which, you know, life is fine, but cruising is fun and we like to cruise all the time. In this case, 37 seconds. <laughs> this cruise is approximately 37 seconds is what it feels like. So thank y'all for following along so far and we will see you on the next video. Cheers to the magic. Cheers. <laughs>